In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a realistic fake sun in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the realistic sun to your images. So we have an image of a sunset and this is a perfect example where you might want to add a sun to your image. Maybe you took a great image with your camera and you missed the sunset and you want to bring it back in Photoshop. Or maybe you're making a composite. So let's get started and show you how it's done. First, I just want to tell you that this is not going to work on any image. You should pick an image where the light direction makes sense. For instance, we know that the light source on this image is not far away from the frame and we can tell by the highlights on the clouds and the light reflection on the buildings. Alright, so to create the sun, we're gonna take the ellipse tool and draw a simple circle. White color is fine for now, and I'm gonna drag it a little bit to the bottom because I wanna hide the bottom part of it and make it look like it is behind the trees. And to do that, I'm going to show you two different techniques. The first technique is to use blend if to hide the sun in the dark areas. So you need to double click on the shape layer to bring the layer style dialog box. And what we're doing here is we want to hide the sun where the trees are. And since the background image is underneath my sun layer, we're going to tell Photoshop to hide this layer where the underlying layer is darker by dragging the left slider to the right. And as you can see, the sun will start to disappear from the trees. And then what we can do is hold Alt or Option to split the slider and make a transition. I'm going to actually click OK for now and I'm going to drag the sun a little bit to the right because I want to make it look like it is behind the clouds. And we can always double click on the layer again and make changes to the Blend If options. So that looks okay for me and I'm gonna accept the changes. Now this is also very flexible, we can still drag the sun anywhere we want, we can make it behind the buildings if we want to, and we can even turn it into a night scene and add the moon behind the clouds if that's something you wanna do. But anyways, I'm gonna click on Ctrl Z to undo that, and this is the first method of how you can do it. If you want to use a layer mask and have more control over your image, we can do that also. And that leads us to the second technique, which is masking the sky and turning it into a selection. So I'm going to duplicate my sun layer, turn the original layer off, and I'm going to also undo my blend if changes. I'm going to also turn off this layer for the moment, and then I'm going to go to select color range. So first of all, if you're not seeing the same black and white view as I'm seeing right now, then you need to change your selection preview mode from here to grayscale. And now with the eyedropper tool, you can click on the area that you want to select and you can also hold shift to add to that selection. But in this case, I don't want to select the entire sky. I want the clouds and the bottom part of the sky to be a little bit visible and that's what's going to make the sun look like it is behind the clouds. You can also control the amount of detail with the fuzziness slider. I'm going to keep mine relatively low and then I'm going to click OK. So that's going to turn it into a selection. And what we can do now is turn the sun layer back on and then add a layer mask. That's going to apply the selection to the layer mask. And as you can see, we have the same result as before. Only this time you have a layer mask and you can control what's visible and what's not. So now if you want to drag the sun and reposition it, you will see that the layer mask is going to also move along with it. And that's because the layer and the layer mask are linked together. So in order to move them individually, you need to click on the chain icon to unlink them. And then if you want to move the layer, make sure it is selected and not the layer mask. And now you can drag it wherever you want. You can also hold Alt or Option and click to see the layer mask and make the changes you want. If you want to hide some areas, you can do that with the brush tool. Alright, I'm gonna turn this layer off and go back to my original layer. 
So, so far this is looking pretty good, but we're gonna add few more things to make it a little bit more realistic. First I'm going to double click on the sun layer, and I'm gonna add in outer glow layer style. I'm gonna change the color to a light orange, and I'm gonna increase the size and the opacity. Make sure also to change the blending mode to screen, it's gonna make the lighting effects a little bit better. So that's before and after. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is blur the sun a little bit. And if I zoom in, you can see that the image is a little bit blurry, but the sun is sharp. And we wanna make sure that the sun is similar to that. So make sure the layer is selected and in the properties tab, click on this icon to show the mask properties. And I'm gonna increase the feather a little bit to match it with the background. Alright, so now we're gonna be adding some lighting effects next. So I'm gonna add a solid color and I'm gonna choose a bright orange color. And then I'm gonna change the blending mode to color dodge. We're gonna be painting this only in the sun and with the low flow and opacity. So I'm gonna invert the layer mask by clicking on Control or Command I to hide the effect. Then take the brush tool, make sure it is soft. The foreground color is set to white and also the opacity and the flow are very low. And then we're gonna start revealing it here. You can see that the color dodge blending mode is gonna give us this nice golden light. I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit and duplicate this layer. I'll reset my mask by filling it with black. And this time I'm gonna paint with a bigger brush at the edges. So this is before and after the lighting effects. You can see that these two layers made the sun brighter and because we used the shape layer, we can double click on it and change the color to a darker orange color. And again, if you want to make the sun less visible, you can always double click on the layer and change the blend if values. We can also change the light color and I'm going to change the color to a yellowish color. And maybe reduce the opacity a little bit. Alright, so that was how to add a realistic fake sun to your images. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm interested in your thoughts, so if you learned something new, make sure to tell us what you think in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And also, make sure to check out my courses at retouchstudio.com, where I go in-depth teaching you advanced Photoshop compositing techniques by creating practical real-world projects. So I hope to see you inside, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.